I'm Judy Buttress, and I'm going to um, speak for a few moments about the conference and then hand over to one of my co-chairs, um, John Mathers, to chair the, uh, the remainder of the first session this morning. So um, this, this conference is about healthier people on a healthier planet, and this has been an uh, important part of the Foundation's work for, for many years, and indeed our mission our vision, rather, is that everyone can access healthy and sustainable diets. Um, and this sort of work is, is now deeply embedded in, in many of the uh, programs of work that we have. Our new website has got quite a few web pages that cover this topic. Um, our journal Nutrition Bulletin, which we're delighted has now got an impact factor, um, has a, last year we published a spotlight which brought together a range of papers uh, on the topic. And importantly, our Healthy Eating Week, which next year is our 10th, um, it's the 10th year that we've been running here, Healthy Eating Week, will feature this topic. Oh, no, why won't it go? Oh, here we go. Um, and the theme is Eat Well For You and the Planet. And as usual, there'll be, uh, each day there'll be a different theme, and I've listed the themes for you there. Uh, eating more fibre, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, varying sources of protein to diversify proteins to include more uh, plant food, uh, plant protein foods in the mix, physical activity, uh, and reducing food waste. Registration is now open, and the web the uh, web link is there. And if anybody is interested in finding out more about supporting Healthy Eating Week, um, then the person to speak to is Claire Theobald, because she, she runs that and can give you more information. So we have got a, a massive challenge um, as, as, a, as, a, as a world, um, not least because the population inhabiting the Earth is increasing quite rapidly. Back in uh, 1990, 5.3 billion people inhabited the planet. It's now speculated or estimated that by 2050, this will have risen to 9.7 billion. Worldwide, food demand is expected to increase by more than 50% as a result of these extra mouths to feed. And demand for animal-based foods is estimated to increase by uh, almost 70% due to rising incomes in many parts of the world. On current trends, food production will need to increase uh, by more than 50%. And of course, many of us, in, most of us in the audience are very aware that nutrition and food security play a pivotal role in achieving the UN's sustainable development goals. Back in um, 2019, the Eat Lancet report reminded us that um, food systems have the potential to nurture human health and support environmental sustainability. However, they are currently threatening both of these. On the human health side, we know that one in five deaths are associated with a poor diet. Almost two billion adults are either overweight or obese. Um, and at the same time, 500 million are underweight. Over two thirds of, of men and, and six in 10 women in England are overweight and obese, and that's one of the highest prevalence rates in, in Europe. And world hunger continues to increase and micronutrient deficiencies are widespread. Um, and not just in, in developing countries. On the planetary health side, food production is the largest cause of global environmental change overall. It causes up to a third of greenhouse gas emissions linked to human activity. Um, and at the recent COP26 meeting, um, FAO um, indicated that that is currently um, 31%. 70% of fresh water uh, withdrawals are associated with, with food production and about 40% of global land use. The, food, um, the FAO has got a very useful 
definition of sustainable diets. I mean, this word sustainable is being used in lots of different ways, sometimes in rather loose and unhelpful ways. But the FAO describes sustainable diets as um, those diets with low environmental impacts, which contribute to food and nutrition security and to healthy life for present and future generations. They are protective and respectful of biodiversity and ecosystems, and we've heard a lot about that in recent months. But they're also culturally acceptable, accessible, economically fair, affordable, nutritionally adequate, safe and healthy, while optimising natural and human resources. And I think some of the questions we, we might want to ponder on this morning as we hear the presentations is, is enough attention being paid to each of these aspects? Is there sufficient integration of nutrition quality into some of the important um, discussions um, and strategic planning that's going on? And how do we improve matters? I thought I'd just share um, with you this slide, which was from a, uh, <coughs> me, an FSA report that was published just the other day. Um, and this was a uh, consumer survey of almost two uh, 2,000 people in the UK, um, and this is you know, one of the slides from that. And in this slide, they are comparing uh, responses to who should be responsible for improving the sustainability or environmental impact of UK diets versus who should be responsible for improving the healthiness of UK diets. And the, the, the environmental impact is the, green, the pale green bar and the healthiness is the darker green bar. And I think it's quite interesting. So looking at the top, virtually everybody thought that diets need to be improved. So that's a positive step, I guess. Schools, the education system came up quite high, um, particularly for um, healthiness of UK diets, that was slightly higher. Food brands, food retailers, those involved in food production, manufacturing, um, came up quite high. And again, it was, in this case, the environmental impact that people felt that they should be responsible for slightly ahead of healthiness. Individuals and parents, it was the opposite. It was the healthiness of UK diets that people felt that they should be particularly responsible for, um, particularly as individuals, 64%. Um, and then, of course, the government was there as well with the emphasis on sustainability. And I guess for me, the bottom line here is that we're all responsible. We've all got a part to play, whatever we do, whoever we are. Um, in achieving a, a better diet for ourselves and for the planet.